Okay, so welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. Now in previous videos, I've looked at fitting out the Fluke 1587 FC insulation multimeter into both the Vito Pro Pack MV2 bag at the back there and this small MV camo bag at the front here. And in this video, I'm going to take a look at fitting out a Mega MIT420 into the small Vito MV bag. Now, as I said, the 1587FC is an insulation multimeter. I carry an awful lot more bits and pieces around with me with that instrument. Um, so therefore, the MB2 bag is more ideally suited for use with that. Um, and there is also a cost saving with using the MB2 bag from Vito as opposed to plastic hard case that comes with the instrument if you had to replace that. Now, the Mega MIT420, you see there, is pretty much a basic insulation tester. I don't carry as much equipment around with me as I do with the 1587FC. So at the back you see there I've actually added this tool foam into the case. You don't get this tool foam with the mega case and I've fitted in here uh, the two crop clips, the probe extension tip for the remote probe and then the two probe tips for the general purpose leads. Leads wise I've got the standard set of leads in here. Um, I also have this set of leads as well. Um, these are the fused test leads that are available for mega instruments. Um, unlike the fluke there that actually uses, um, they have the standard probes and you can also buy uh, fused test probes and they all fit on the standard test leads. Uh, with uh, mega it's slightly different. Um, the fuse is installed inside the actual uh, test lead itself so you need an extra set of leads and not the probes um, there's the fuse there um, and I carry these around as a different color purely and simply because it's quite hard to tell the difference between if I had another red and black that fused they're almost identical um, there is a little bit of writing on this to say that it's fused but that's all there is so for a quick grab I have a different set of colored leads that I know are fused and these are the standard unfused ones. Um, so there's those there. Then there's the actual remote probe as well. Goes in. Um, I do carry a proving unit with this. So if I want to, I predominantly use this on testing of motors. So if I want to test for dead at motors, I've got a proving unit with me. And I can use the Mega for that purpose instead of having a uh, voltage stick with me. So with regard to the actual instruments themselves, um, the Mega is slightly taller than the 1587FC. Um, they're about the same kind of width going across, I guess. Um, the Mega in general is a little bit more of a bulkier instrument than the Fluke is. We know the Fluke was quite a tight fit. But we'll put him back out the way there. Okay, so we'll see how the instrument and its bits and pieces fit into the MB bag. Um, the meter itself goes into the main pocket, obviously, and he is. Yeah, it does uh, does fill it up quite uh, quite a bit, doesn't it? Okay, let's see how well we get on with this. Um, so I don't have a um, iPad to take around with this because the instrument doesn't connect to anything. So I can use this front patch for all my lead sets, I think. Uh, and what I have done uh, with the, this is put the probe tips onto the actual leads. Uh, I know with the other layout with the fluke, I put the probe tips into these little hex bit hole pockets here. Unfortunately, if you do that with these mega ones, these mega ones are obviously quite short. Um, if you do that with them, they disappear right inside and they are then quite awkward to get back out. So don't do that. We'll put them on the edge of the leads so we can uh, keep hold of them. Um, and all those leads should go in there, hopefully. And he still closes up, okay. Uh, I believe, so the pro tip for the Remote probe does go in there, okay. And then we can uh, 
I'm not sure whether we'll get the crop clips in there. Again, these crop clips are quite a bit longer than standard, so I'm not sure. No, they're not kind of. Yeah, it's not working very well, is it? Yeah, kind of get away with it, I guess, but. So if we, uh, sure they will go inside. There's the little pocket inside the meter pouch there. And I'll uh, both slide into there. Okay, and then finally, my proving unit will hopefully slide down inside. Yeah, it's a bit of a squeeze. It does go go. There we go. And we can. Uh, Zip it up. Okay, so there we go. It's all uh, tucked away in there. Uh, still a bit more room inside the front pouch there, and obviously these two pouches at the side are both available to me. Um, so as I said, I use this predominantly for going out and inspecting motors. So I'll see if we can uh, come up with some ideas to include some bits and pieces in these side pockets to enable me to get into motor terminal junction boxes. But other than that, the basic installation tester kit from Mega, uh, the MIT 400 series, should fit in here reasonably well. Um, in terms of price, that's where this comes slightly unstuck a little bit. Um, this Mega case uh, actually retails for um, £27 in the UK, uh, that's including tax, whereas the Vito MB bag I got from Epic Air uh, that retails for £55, so there's no price advantage to going out and getting a Veto bag, but obviously there is in terms of space saving. Um, you can save yourself a fair bit of space going down the Veto bag route, I guess. Um, the other aspect is if you happen to break these catches on the front here, which I guess are probably the weakest link on this case, Mega do do replacement catches for £9 for a set of two catches. So if that's all you've done with the case, um, you've got an even cheaper option of fixing it. And of course it does depend how you like the layout of the instruments within their case. Obviously everything's very open and relatively easy to get hold of with the Mega case like that, whereas with the Vito bag you are fishing around a little bit um, to get bits and pieces in and out, so it just depends which methodology you prefer, I guess. Um, okay, so uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, hope you found it useful, and I'll see you in the next video.